Top 10 Fastest Speedboats Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel at speeds that reach more than 300 miles per hour? How about while on the water? Well, believe it or not, with some of the speedboats that exist today, that's entirely possible. Today we are going to be taking a look at the top 10 fastest speedboats that are currently on the water. Outer Limits SV-52 Outer Limits has become known for producing some of the fastest ships on the water, and they do not disappoint with their SV-52 model. The Outer Limits SV-52 is capable of cruising comfortably at an amazing 112 miles per hour, and that's when it's at maximum weight capacity. The 15.4 meter long powerboat has a beam of 2.7 meters and a draft of 0.6 meters. The SV-52 is a half canopy boat that has a V-bottom design and a full carbon hull. The SV-52 can sleep two people in the single guest cabin on board. The vessel is powered by a total of four diesel-powered engines that are 560 horsepower each, with a 500-gallon fuel tank on board that gives the SV-52 a range of between 500 and 700 nautical miles, depending on the speed of travel. The design of the Outer Limits powerboat cuts through even the roughest of waters with ease, with the founder of Outer Limits, Mike Fiore, claiming that it motors along effortlessly. It's like sitting in your living room when asked about the ship's performance in rough seas. South Bay 925CR Not only is the South Bay 925CR one of the fastest speedboats in the world, but it is also the world's fastest pontoon boat. The 925CR has a length of 8.2 meters long with a beam of 2.4 meters and is capable of reaching a top speed of 114 miles per hour, or 99 knots. When South Bay managed to reach that speed for the first time with the 925CR, it actually broke the world record at the time. The pontoon boat comes equipped with multiple Bluetooth speakers along with LEDs located all over the boat. While the underwater LED lights are an optional addition, the 924CR comes outfitted with LEDs all over the interior of the boat, which set up the perfect ambiance for anyone lucky enough to be on board. South Bay's 925CR comes with a superior Garmin GPS navigation system, and you can find them currently listed for between thirty dollars and $40,000 depending on the model year. Fountain 47 Lightning Cutting through the water at speeds of 115 miles per hour or 99 knots, the Fountain 47 Lightning is the perfect speedboat for anyone looking for a thrill ride out on the open waters. The 47-foot-long speedster was marketed as the ultimate poker run yacht and is equipped with two Mercury 1075 racing engines, making it easily one of the fastest vessels in its class. The Fountain 47 Lightning can seat anywhere from four to six people and comes with a customized cabin for one to two people to sleep in. The ship comes outfitted with LEDs all over the ship, including LED buttons on the navigational dashboard. Fountain boasts that the 47 Lightning is a speedboat that can go anywhere thanks to its 340-gallon fuel tank, and you will never get lost with the state-of-the-art Garmin GPS system. Optional equipment for the Fountain 47 Lightning, depending on the model you purchase, which includes external mufflers, a microwave, and your choice of stereo upgrade. The base price for a Fountain 47 Lightning starts at around $1 million, according to Boating Magazine, and that price can go up depending on the customization options you decide to purchase. Cigarette Racing Team 50 AMG GTS the Cigarette Racing Team 50 AMG GTS is the fastest electric vehicle on the water to this day, topping in at 135 miles per hour. The 50-foot-long electric speedboat has a beam of 8 feet and is powered by lithium-ion batteries consisting of 3,456 lithium-ion cells that run the 2,200 horsepower AMG electric engine. With a charging rate of around 44 kilowatts, the 50 AMG GTS comes with two chargers, allowing the ship to fully charge its battery in roughly seven hours. The cockpit of the speedboat includes dash-controlled battery switches, mercury racing digital throttles, and shifters along with an LED digital trim tab. 
There is a single cabin on board that comes with lavish hand-stitched seating and a custom-designed forward-facing bed and is illuminated by 11 dynamic LED lights. The cigarette racing team's 50 AMG GTS has a fuel tank that's capable of holding up to 332 gallons of fuel. Nortec 5200 Roadster Nordtech has seemingly managed the impossible with their 5200 Roadster model speedboat. Not only is the Nortech 5200 Roadster one of the fastest speedboats in the world with a maximum speed of up to 150 miles per hour depending on the engine that you have installed, but it's also one of the most passenger friendly. The Roadster comes with the ability to fully customize the seating arrangements on board the cruiser, with space for up to 10 passengers. An interior cabin can be found below the deck where guests can relax in the various seats or the double berth. There is a 400-gallon fuel tank on the 5200 Roadster that feeds fuel to the 5400 horsepower engines, allowing the Speedster to make long trips in no time at all. The cockpit includes a fully equipped stereo and speaker system to make time out on the water feel like the vacation that it should be. As we mentioned, Nortec designed the Roadster to be very customizable, which means that if you have the money for one, you will likely be able to find one that's set up perfectly for you and your intended use. Due to the customizability of the 5200, customers can expect to be spending anywhere upwards of a million dollars for one of their own. Skater 46 Pleasure The Skater 46 Pleasure is one of a kind. With a full canopy, those on board are able to relax even when pushing the high speeds that the 46 Pleasure is able to reach. Thanks to its twin Teague 1500 horsepower engines, which make a combined horsepower of 3000, this speedboat by Skater is capable of reaching an incredible top speed of 175 miles per hour. Skater claims that their vessel is considered both a speedboat and a powerboat. Pleasure is 46 feet in length and has a beam of 12 feet. Those on board can sit back and enjoy full air conditioning along with a customizable sound system while inside the full canopy. The spacious design of the Skater 46 Pleasure has room for up to five people to enjoy the ride as that boat cuts through the water. Mystic Powerboats C5000 Turbine Mystic Powerboats claim to make vessels that, according to them, are unlike anything on the water, and they couldn't be more right. While the Florida-based company offers their C-model speedboat in other models, after hearing about the C5000 Turbine, you'll realize why it's the only proper choice. With a maximum speed of up to 250 miles per hour, the Mystic Powerboat C5000 Turbine is capable of cruising comfortably at 150 miles per hour. This is all thanks to the twin diesel-powered engines that each put out 1,850 horsepower for a combined total of 3,700 horsepower. There is a 600-gallon fuel tank on board allowing the C5000 Turbine to make long journeys or short ones depending on guest preference. There is room for six people on board the nearly 50-foot-long speedboat inside of the air-conditioned full canopy. Though the C5000 turbine was produced more than 10 years ago in 2011, it looks like something that you would see in the future with its sleek exterior design and its wing-style doors that lead into the cockpit. Mystic Powerboats even provided owners with a road and launching trailer to allow for easy transfers into and out of the water. Problem Child Nitro drag boats are amazing to watch. They go so fast that they almost appear to skip and glide across the water. The Problem Child is no different, except that it is capable of reaching speeds that most vessels could only dream of. With an 8,000 horsepower nitro drag engine, the Problem Child is the fastest nitro drag boat in the world, with the capability of reaching 262 miles per hour in just three and a half seconds. Picking up speed that quickly on the water is insane when you consider all the variables from the wind to the ripples caused by the wind and and other obstructions, which is why only the most professional of racers typically operate nitro drag boats. The Problem Child is owned by Eddie Knox, the multiple-time Lucas Oil Drag Boat Series Top Fuel World Champion. 
Eddie began his career in drag boat racing back in 1989, and when he teamed up with Larry Bless to create the Problem Child, they struck gold. Problem Child currently holds the top 15 quickest times for elapsing 1,000 feet in history, and I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. Bluebird K7 the Bluebird K7 is a turbine-powered hydroplane that was developed nearly 70 years ago in 1955. From the years 1955 and 1967, the K7 managed to set seven different world records based on water speed. Being the first jet-powered hydroplane, the Bluebird K7 set a strong precedence for every single hydroplane to be developed since, and none have been able to quite match the K7. Donald Campbell, the driver of the Bluebird K7, managed to bring the fastest water speed record from 178 to 276 miles per hour. However, in his attempt to break the record for an eighth time by reaching 300 miles per hour, the K7 had an accident that proved fatal for Campbell. The accident occurred on January 4th, 1967, and at the time of his death, Donald was the only person to be the current holder for both a land and a water speed record. The restoration was completed on the Bluebird K7 in 2018, and though they have managed to get it up to speeds of 150 miles per hour, there are currently no attempts being made to try to beat the current world record. Spirit of Australia Truly a sight to see and the fastest speedboat in the world, the Spirit of Australia is a wooden vessel that was built in a backyard located in Sydney, Australia. Ken Warby built the Spirit almost entirely out of wood and managed to shatter the world water speed record in October of 1978. On the 8th of October, 1978, Warby brought his wooden speedboat to the Tumut River and absolutely shattered the previous speed record by hitting a record speed of 345 miles per hour. However, the established world record is based on an average of two runs on the same stretch of water, and Warby still beat the record with an average speed of 317.6 miles per hour. This was made possible by the Westinghouse J-34 jet engine that was created for jet fighters in the 1940s by the Westinghouse Electric Company. The Spirit of Australia has since been retired and is permanently on display at the Australian National Maritime Museum, located in Darling Harbour. Can you imagine traveling on the water at speeds of over 300 miles per hour? Would you feel comfortable going that fast in the ocean? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below.